Hi, I'm Dr. Meredith Warner, and I'm a practicing orthopedic surgeon in Baton Rouge, and I want to talk to you about omega-3 today. I have a lot of patients that come see me. They have connective tissue disorders, like they're stiff, nothing really works right. They have fascial pain, particularly between the shoulder blades and in the neck and back. They're fatigued, they might have brain fog, and then a lot of them also have high cholesterol, high triglycerides. So for these groups of patients, I often prescribe high doses of omega-3 fatty acids, which you might know of as fish oil. So I'll prescribe up to four grams for the people with high triglycerides and joint pain. Um, and that's the safe limit where it doesn't cause too much blood thinning, because one of the things omega-3 does is inhibits platelet aggregation. But for my regular patients that don't have super high triglycerides, but they do have pain, they are stiff, they feel a little bit fatigued, they have a little bit of brain fog, I find that 1,500 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids is very, very beneficial. Omega-3s are highly anti-inflammatory, and they work throughout the body because they integrate into every cell membrane. Every cell in the human body is surrounded by a wall or a membrane through which um, proteins and cytokines go in and out. There's receptors that different co things come in and attach to and make things happen in the nucleus uh, to change what the DNA does on a given basis. And then the products within the membrane, either the omega-6 or the omega-3s, or sometimes omega-9s, um, will actually then become part of different inflammatory pathways. And omega-3s are super helpful because they push your body towards a resolving or healing anti-inflammatory pathway, which is much healthier for you than what the omega-6s do, which is what most of us are filled with in the Western world. The omega-6s make the cell membrane stiff, heavy, thick, and then they don't work as well. And furthermore, those omega-6s become part of a painful, self-attacking, autoimmune inflammatory pathway. They start down the pathway of the COX-1 and COX-2 and just everything that hurts, which is why most of us get prescription anti-inflammatories. But if you have a high amount of omega-3 in your body, in other words, if you eat a lot of healthy fish all the time or algae, um, you won't have as much pain because you're not gonna have those building blocks for the painful inflammatory pathway. In addition, you'll have less oxidized LDL or cholesterol, and you'll have just general better heart health and fewer triglycerides. So your blood will be thinner, it'll flow better, your cells will be more flexible and work better, you'll feel looser, you'll be more flexible, and then more importantly, your brain will work better. Omega-3s or fish oil are true brain foods. That's why your parents told you to eat fish sticks when you were a kid, or at least mine did. Um, but you don't want fried fish sticks, so we'll talk about that on another time. But omega-3s are why fish and fish oil is so good for you, because it gets into your brain, crosses a blood-brain barrier, becomes part of the cell membrane, helps the neurons and the axons function better. You're able to make more interconnections, and you have less cognitive decline, less dementia, you think clearer, and you have better cognitive function, so less brain fog. So when I have patients that come see me, and they're, um, they've got high triglycerides or high cholesterol, they hurt, they're fatigued, they're stiff. I mean, I do any number of things, but I often talk to them about their diet, and if I find that they eat a lot of things that have omega-6s, I will prescribe or recommend supplements, because it's really hard to eat a diet that's pure omega-3, at least in our country it is. And so the way you can combat that is by changing your ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 by supplementing with the omega-3s, which is what I often tell people to do if I don't give a big, huge prescription dose.